What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and today I'm really excited because we're talking about iconography. I have a love-hate relationship with iconography. It's something I use every single day, but it's so tedious. Not only to get all the icons pixel perfect, but to implement all the variation that you need. You got your line, you got your fill, you got your stroke weights, you have your variations of color, and on and on we go. Well, I found a new workflow that's really, really awesome using Sketch 52's new layer style feature. Layer styles have always been a thing. They were just kind of so-so, but now they're better. We're gonna take a look at it. The practice that we used to have to do in Sketch 51 was to take an icon that you had created or turned into a symbol, and on the symbols page, we would have to also create uh, some sort of color. So we would have to come out here and draw a rectangle, and, and we'd have to find a color that we wanted to like claim as part of our color palette. And then we had to turn that into a symbol, and we had to call it like color dash purple, let's say, right? And now that symbol would be on our symbols page somewhere, and we'd have to take that symbol, and we'd have to find it like this, and drop it on top of our icon, which was super weird and crazy. And then we had to come in here and mask like this, and then we had to move that color around, okay, so that if we had not only color purple, but we also had maybe color green, like this, and we could rename that. When we came back, it had a, a natural color of purple added to it, because that's the symbol that was placed on top of it, but we could do an override and say, hey, we want to change that to green. That doesn't sound so bad. The problem was you had to main constantly maintain um, you know, these, like all these different colors as symbols, and you always had to mask things, and then masking things on symbols was kind of wonky at times. So that's how you used to have to do it. But now there's a simpler way. We're gonna jump over to our project in the newest release of Sketch. And you can see we have those same symbols, and they're on our symbols page over here. And now what we could do is, um, let's say we just wanna find a purple color, maybe like a little bit of a deeper purple color but we can go into the symbol and we can choose to give it a layer style. Now right now it's currently black and um, the lines that are there are filled with black and it has an opacity of 100. So if we want to create a new layer style, we could say outline dash black, just like that, okay? Um, we could come back and we can create maybe some different layer styles, like we can just hit it with purple and instead of updating, we can create a new layer style called outline dash purple and let's do it again one more time now we have created a new layer style of outline dash green when we come back to our project we see that the override here has to do with our layer styles okay now the cool thing is when you come back we can call this one tag dash outlined and we can create a not outlines but outlined Okay, we can create another tag icon, and we can call this one tag filled. So now we have like, uh, we, we've reassessed using the different kind of uh, uh, Boolean operations or the shape operations. Um, we've changed the way that it, it is kind of filled, and now you can see that the fill is taking place over all of it, right? Across every single area that we, you know, we've designated to be filled. So now what we can do is we can create a different version of our screen. We can come down in here and we can just give it the tag filled, right? Like that. So now we have the different symbols. So that's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it is to establish a layer style. So let's go back to our symbols. Another way to do it would be to find your other, um, like icon like this, and now this icon is a little bit different, right? It's not um, multiple shapes on top that are subtracting and doing Boolean operations, but this is literally, um, if we just take these out of the combined shape, you can see that this shape is not filled, but it has a border, right? So um, we can give it a border of black, and so now if we wanted to, we can come into our layer styles, create a new layer style, and call this lined-black. And you know, I, I just realized that I named the other ones incorrectly. So we can go back and organize our layer styles. We can call this filled, right? So let's call that filled. All these are the filled versions. 
Okay, and we don't need that white box style anymore, but we have filled black, we have lined black, right? So we can be done with that. And then we can come back and say, what do we want? We want the borders this time to be purple. Obviously, like, I want the whole thing to be purple, but let's just come here and create our new layer style. We'll call it lined purple like that. And what the heck, we'll do one more just for fun and we'll call this one, whoops, not update, go back and create a new layer style and we'll call this lined green. We'll come back to that update style thing in a second because that's important. Now we are actually going to unionize these shapes and come in and just make sure that it's sitting on top pretty like that, not subtracting. And we come back, you can see I can click on it, same cog, I can just go to the green filled style or the green outline style. So now we set the default style of this icon to be filled black. We've made sure that it not only has the fill, but it has the border as before, You're just adding that fill inside of it. Now once we return to our project, we have an icon there that is capable of using the default style of black, but it can also just be you know, tipped right over to any of the filled versions. It's a really nice way to quickly go from fill to lined and, you know, manipulate the different like weights and stroke and all that kind of stuff. But it's just an easier way to manage all of your symbols in your symbol library. Well, that's it. That's my new and improved iconography workflow using layer styles inside of Sketch. What kind of workflow do you have set up? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to know how you do it differently than me or similar to me or whatever. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell icon so you know when a video like this one comes out. I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and improving your workflow every step of the way. I'll see you in the next one.